Okay, this is a hands-on video of the Nokia E75. As you can see, this is one of Nokia's new E-Series models. Um, it's a standard candy bar cell phone. You can see the standard uh, numeric keypad down below. However, it also slides open to reveal the full QWERTY keyboard. Um, this is really, really handy if you want to type out a uh, longer email message or write a blog post or something like that. As you can see, the keys are nicely sized. They're about the size of the pad of your finger. Uh, which means they're awesome for typing and it's very easy to use. There is um, one thing that I kind of disliked was the there's no sub, um, there's no way to feel which key you're on other than using this middle bar which um, is just here for design. It doesn't have any actual function at all. Initially I did find that the space bar was slightly too small um, but after a little bit of use it quickly just kind of became natural for me. Um, this keyboard does include predictive text um, so that when you're typing out a message in um, in the QWERTY mode, it will offer spelling suggestions that you um, for the different things that you are typing out. So that's definitely very handy. Um, this phone does run uh, Nokia's S60 Third Edition Feature Pack 2 user interface, um, which does add a few notable updates to older models. Uh, the main one being access point prioritization and grouping so that you can have it automatically connect to an available Wi-Fi network or fall back to 3G without prompting the user anything, um, which is definitely very convenient. You can see it has the new um, S60 Touch style icons and it also has the new uh, Nokia email client which integrates Mail for Exchange as well. So there's only a single client here for Mail for Exchange or any of your personal um, Gmail or Yahoo Mail or anything like that. So um, the buttons on the on the actual phone, the end key doubles as the power key, which is uh, definitely convenient. You have one less button to worry about. And then you can see here we have two uh, left and right soft keys. The send button, the little house takes you to your menu, and uh, you can also press and hold that to get a list of the currently running applications. Uh, this is your back key up here, and then these two bottom keys, the one on the left is a calendar, and the one on the right is an envelope. These are shortcut keys that by default take you to the calendar or the uh, email client, um, respectively, or you can also customize these for both a short press and a long press to activate any function or application on the phone. So you could have the calendar open the uh, music application, for instance, if you wanted to, which is definitely extremely convenient. Also, there's three shortcut buttons here on the bottom. The star key, you can press and hold, and that will uh, activate or deactivate Bluetooth. You can also press and hold the zero key here for the internet, and that'll open up the browser. And then the pound sign here can also be held to uh, turn the phone on silent so that you don't have any ringers or anything like that. So um, those three shortcuts are definitely very handy as well. Um, so here on the side, we've got the volume up and down keys. In the middle, this is your voice dial activation and you can press and hold that and there's a uh, rather robust um, voice command system. This is your dedicated camera key here. You can press and hold that and it will activate the camera application. You can then press it slightly to autofocus and then press it um, even more. It's kind of a two-stage button to actually snap the photo. Here's the back of the phone. This is a stainless steel plate and uh, up here is the 3.2 megapixel autofocus camera. You've got a single LED flash and a self-portrait mirror. And then here's a speaker down here. When you take this off, here is the battery. And you can see this is a um, 1000 milliampere hour battery. And it actually does pretty well at powering the phone. I was able to go um, for a couple of days there with just with uh, no additional charge. The phone also, um, the E75 you can see here, has a micro USB um, slot. This doubles as power and you can also charge via that. So if you've got it connected to your computer, um, it's going to get a little bit of a charge while you're synchronizing or transferring media, which is definitely convenient. There's also a, a micro SD card slot. And as you can see, these are protected by attached uh, doors so that you don't get any debris in there. Uh, another convenient thing is there's also the standard 2mm Nokia charger here on the bottom. So you actually have two options to charge the phone, which is uh, definitely awesome. And along the top here is the standard 3.5mm audio port. This is one of the first times that we've seen that on an E-series phone. Um, so that's definitely good to see. Overall, you can see that the slide 
is spring assisted and uh, there's no wobble or anything so um, it's very well done and uh, it does slide a little bit down but it's actually again if you don't get it far enough it'll spring back open and the display automatically rotates um, it's probably not liking that I'm <laughs> clicking it so often um, so that's the Nokia E75 and just kind of a brief walkthrough of the actual phone okay here's just kind of a brief walkthrough of the interface you can see this is the active standby and from here we've got the time and date um, shown up here this is a row of user customizable application shortcuts that you can set to automatically go to um, the web browser or GPS or media or anything like that um, there's home screen integration of the email client so you can see here I have my Gmail set up and it even has the Gmail icon down uh, up here and that will show you how many new messages you have without having to actually open up the email client to find out um, below that is uh, any new calendar uh, appointments that you have coming up those will automatically change based on the day here's a uh, Wi-Fi wizard so that you can easily connect to a local uh, Wi-Fi network if one's available you can search to see what is available um, below here is the search application and this is real-time search it allows you to search not only the internet but also anything that you have on your phone so as you can see it's got music context calendar email messages bookmarks and as you begin typing it will automatically um, n reduce this to show see I have 50 contacts with uh, K in them and I have five notes text notes that have K in them uh, I have 28 email messages and as I keep typing it will change those um, as well and then obviously it's got Google search integrated so that's definitely very handy um, and that's just built into the system the main menu here um, is set up in a grid you can change this however you want and um, it's got a few very cool things the context view you can see it's got name and then it'll also show um, a thumbnail image if you have one loaded you can then press to the um, right and that will pop up a little message um, pop-up box that lets you do a voice call, send a message, send an email, send a meeting request um, to this client. So you can very easily contact all your clients um, and contacts. From here you can also search and uh, again that will just do the real-time search as you're typing which is again very handy. So the um, in the office section, the office folder we have a dictionary, there's an intranet application uh, Quick Office is also preloaded on here, and that will allow you to um, open and or edit um, documents as you need to straight on your phone. So there's no need to purchase the additional editing feature specifically for the uh, the E75. So that's kind of a quick run of the Nokia E75, and uh, thanks for watching.